All right, Shalom, Shalom. They say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity for the hope for the let sake. All right, we out here once again gathering the sheep of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Like it says in the scriptures, you know, feed the sheep. Uh, that's what we out here to do. With what? With more uh, tells or uh, warnings of prophecies, you know. And uh, hey, like like we always say, this thing is uh, the living book, right? And these prophecies are showing forth as we speak them, as it was uh, said that in this time by Yahweh that these prophecies were going to be uh, uh, shown before his coming. And that's definitely what's happening. Now, certain things are happening on the globe, and you know, brothers are going to speak on it uh, to the best of our abilities. And you know, just because these things are happening, it's not the end, okay? But we're on the way to that to that finish line, all right? And this is how Yahweh Shai, through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh planned it, okay? Because these things have to uh, uh, be drawn out in the fashion of putting this place at a, a dead stop. And then the total annihilation of Babylon the Great will happen, which is America. Okay. But the whole world has to hate uh, Babylon the Great for that to happen. And we see it coming to uh, fruition right now. Okay. With all the wickedness that the seed of Satan has passed out upon the earth, now it's about to come back and hunt him into his end, you know. But uh, any brothers got anything to say, you know, just bring it out. And that nation is ran by the house of Edom, which is the so called white man, okay. And he's bringing ruin upon himself, man, okay. That's right. Well, I got uh, Matthew 24. We can start it off there. And I'll start at verse uh, verse 3. Okay, okay. This is Matthew 24 and verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of, and of the end of the world? Mm -hmm. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And that's what we're, we're full swing into that. You got uh, proxy wars going on all over the place. You got the, the Ukrainian-Russia battle still happening, which is not really a battle. It's just a uh, uh, so it's a war you know it's not even really a war because one side got it all it's already locked down you know if you looked at uh didactic news you got the ukrainian soldiers uh surrendering okay what's going on over there is it's all propaganda to america's is they don't know what's happening because they refuse to look at the news or refuse to look up information to find out what is going on Okay, Ukraine is not gaining any steam. They're not. They're not uh, taking back over land that was lost. They're not doing anything but just talking to a lot of BS. Okay, on the media. That's the only thing they're doing. And the, the generals of the U.S. already know that those people are laid down. It's over. Okay, it doesn't matter what amount of guns you give to them, ammo, or whatever, missiles. It's not going to help. It's over. The bears in full swing. He, he's moving forward. Okay. And that's Russia. All right. Uh, yeah. The end is not yet because then you have this thing that's going on over there in, in uh, with the Israelis. Okay. Hamas, Hezbollah, and Iran all linked together. Okay. So that's going to come to a full head. And when that comes to a full head, and that won't be before the chip is handed out, okay? 
because it's something that's dwelling in the background over here in Babylon the Great, and it's the great cat crap crash of the economy that's about to happen. Okay, and that's being swept underneath the rug. Why do you think uh, government officials are leaving office like that carelessly? They don't care. It's over. You know, they packing up. It's just like you seen on that uh, movie. What was it? Uh, Armageddon. You know, when Ellie was coming and the lady was, the reporter was like, what's Ellie? You know, it's a extinction level event that's about to happen. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's why these senators and these politicians, they're going to, they're going to happily leave the, the Senate in the, in the government uh, positions that they hold, man, because they know that it's about to be a uh, implosion on the government in America, man. It's going to be every man for itself out here. Okay. On um, verse 7, it says, For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And they also continue to read verse 8 says, All these are the beginning of sorrow. That's exactly what the Lord had uh, told us to look out for. All right. And once again, by being a watchman or looking out for these events, you can see them uh, by way of these different news articles, these reports. All right. And if you look at the news reports on these websites, all right, these articles, you can see that everything that we just read, when it comes to pestilence, famine, we talk about uh, earthquakes, it's all being spoken of, all right? It's all being spoken of, and they're happening simultaneously, all right? In different areas, yes, it's going to happen in different parts of the earth, but they're all happening. Once again, this is how we know that we're in the end time. All right. Kind of, if I may land back, you know, these articles, their headlines, they normally say earthquake or this event at a catastrophic or apocalyptic or uh, a biblical prophecy. So they're even uh, steering the, the reader or the listener that this is a biblical proportion, man. But ultimately, it's through the servants, the prophets. We're pushing out that vibration of, of, of evil times, as the scripture says, man, you know, the beginning of sorrows, you know. Right. I, I got second. Ezra. Oh, that's that's the spirit. You're gonna go to second as 16. Yeah, what you got? I, I got that. I got that. Uh, second as 16. I'll start at verse 17. Is that oh, what you verse, had? Or not at verse one? Okay, yeah, come on. Uh, second Ezra 16, verse one. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. And real quick, it's you know, that's 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 speaking of you know, all these different nations, all right. It's like I said, nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Because guess what? The Lord's judgment is going to cover the face of the earth. All right? right. In the north, south, east, and west. All right? That's, That's why you right. have a thing known as World War III. And it's being spoken of. Why? Because many countries are going to be involved. Many continents. Many uh, kingdoms is going to be involved. Which means what? No matter where you're at, you're not going to be able to escape the destruction or the judgment that the Lord is going to bring. All right? Yeah, That's right. Yep. Yeah, verse 2. Uh, gird up yourselves with cloth of sack and here be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand a, a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back a fire is sent among you and who may quench it plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it have begun to burn May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Hey, and that it's shows like, you right there, because it said that, uh, when you go to verse 4, it says, A fire is sent among you who may quench it, and it also double down in verse 9. A fire shall go right. forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? So he doubled down to show that that fire represents his anger. Yeah. That indignation that he's about to bring and what he's going to do. He's going to allow all these plagues to, to consume this place, man. All right? right. And the ultimate plague is going to be uh, the, 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 the nuclear missile that's going to uh, uh, destroy Babylon. All right? America. All right? So, hey, man, we can see that they, these, these, the Lord is angry. And he's allowing this uh, the prophecies to take, to take place, man, to take shape right in front of us. Uh, if I may land back, this scripture also says, I believe in Ephesians, it says, be not unwise, to, not understanding what the, the will of the Lord is, man. This is of the Heavenly Father. So there's nothing that these political leaders or, or military officials, they can't 
uh, uh, upset prophecy because the end has already been declared, man, from the beginning. We're just letting it manifest. And this is why the service of prophets, we have been seeing uh, 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 this vision and this understanding. And we're out to give warning mm -hmm. to uh, our people, to the elect, and ultimately warning to these other nations to hear their future judgment. Man. Right. We'll continue on. Because the deceived and the deceiver are his, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, come. Deceived and thinking that, you know. Con, uh, second Ezra 16 and uh, verse 10. Yep. He shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? And right there, right, real quick, it, it, it's, it's questions, right? These are questions that he's throwing out there, all right? This is letting you know that this is evil time, bad times coming. Yeah. And with the whole of the earth, everybody's going to be afraid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, look what's going on over there in Israel. The, the, the inhabitants over there is afraid. And look, you have Americans that seeing that and like, listen, they know in their mind that, yo, this can escalate to something worse. It's a domino and, effect. Yeah, yeah, the topic is biblical prophecy is in effect. You see what I'm saying? And with that happening, that's, that's going to have everybody at a standstill. Who, who sh it says he shall cast out lightning and who shall not fear. So when you see these things happening, you got war going on, like the brother said, or uh, Ukraine and Russia. That had people at a standstill, like, damn, what happened to the peace? We need to stop this. Now you got this going on over there in, 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 in uh, Israel. You still got uh, uh, nuclear threats being thrown around. Yep. All right. You yep, still yep. got COVID uh, passing through another round. You know what I'm Famine. saying? Famine coming, talking about food shortage and, and the food prices going up. Hey, you know? seditions, you know, uproars of the people. These are signs, man. All right. you know? These are all things that put you in a, in, in a state of fear. All right. Yeah. But the Lord gave the elect. They said he did not He did not give us the spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. You know, sound going back to the word stable. That's all right? right. Stable because we understand. All right. Yeah. So that's the back of your point up. Right? You yeah. gotta, I got 33 and 6, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I got a quick one. This is Second Timothy 3 and 1. You don't have to get it, bro, but... I'm just going to read it. It says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Mm -hmm. And that word perilous goes into a uh, danger. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is this is it. It's like, uh, what's that other scripture that says, be ye circumspect? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ephesians 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, I can this, get that. Uh, yeah, grab it, yeah. grab it. Yeah. And I'll go back to 2nd Ezra 16. After. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got you, brother, to back you up since you uh, quoted it, Ephesians 5, and I'll start at verse uh, 14, and I'll read down. Uh, Ephesians 5, verse 14, wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Yeah. So that's when you look up that word redeeming in the blue letter, right? It's gonna it's gonna tell you what that word redeeming the time means. Yep. That means to be on to it. You know what I'm saying? That means to be uh uh forever like watching, vigil, vision, vigilant over it, you know. Yeah. Yes, yeah, says um to redeem by payment of a price to recover from the power of an, another uh to ransom by y'all. This is a metaphor of Mashiach freeing the elect from the dominion of the Mosaic law. Uh, it says to buy up, to buy up for oneself, for one's use. So, like it says, uh, redeeming the time, me me meaning like to utilizing the time that that you have yeah. now. Uh, yeah. Right? To buy, like buying back the time, like this time that you have, you make do with what you have and get yourself right before that day. Yeah. yeah. Seek the Lord like, while He's uh... Seek the Lord before the evil days come, man. You know, yeah, yeah. that's the spirit, and that's exactly well, stay, what it's going to be. Yep, stay locked in, basically. Mm -hmm. Yep, come on, do. Yeah, let me go back to Ephesians. I want to read uh, verse 18. Yep, yep, come on, you got it. And then I'll speak on it. Or, you know, what I mean, and verse 18, and be not drunk with wine wherein, wherein is an access, but be filled with the spirit. You know, that that. Being drunk with the wine, you know, the wine is the philosophies of this world, man. Mm -hmm. These different teachings, you know, and you want to be filled with the spirit. Uh, and you got to understand what's the true spirit of or, or the testimony of Yahweh Shai. It's the spirit of prophecy. You know, there's a lot of people. 
I believe the brother read in um, Matthew 24 that in the last days, some they will say that they're anointed. You know, there's a lot of people uh, speaking on these end times, but they're not breaking down the true prophecies or the true meanings uh, of what's going to take place. They're not warning the congregation or their people about Jacob's trouble, the famine, the pestilence, yeah. that even the grain of rice, you know what I'm saying? Or World War Three. They're talking about rapture. They're talking about prosperity or God is all love. That's being drunk of the wine of this world, man. You got to come in the true spirit of the true prophets that the Lord set up, man. And that's that's testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, man. That's right. Perfect. Hey, can add on as well, because it says, but be filled with the spirit. The spirit is what's going to guide you in these times. Yeah. The the Holy Spirit. Because once again, if you're occupied in the things of the world, you can't see clearly what's going on. You don't really know. You don't really know what's really going on. You just see things happening in the world and you're kind of concerned, but you don't really understand the level of, of, of what the Lord is doing in the world, going back to being be not unwise. You know yeah, what right, that's right. Being filled with the spirit, it gives you that sense of direction. All right, I'm not to I'm gonna turn this way. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, take heed to that. I know uh, uh this is gonna lead to this. You know what I'm saying? It's giving you that foresight as the scripture talks about the prudent man uh foresee if the evil and hide it himself. Yeah. And all so, you know what I'm saying? With, 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 with uh, 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 what is it? Shelter or, 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 or salvation in a sense, you know? A you safe haven through Yahweh man. Yahweh Yahweh Because it goes back to like, um, uh, Tazi Afghan back me up on uh, the emergency the emergency points that's around the city. What they what they do? They're supposed to point you in a safe, uh, <laughs> yeah, in a safe, to a safe zone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what the spirit is going to do is going to point us into a safe zone, which is what? And in in, 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 uh, under the shelter of Yahweh Bar Shimon man, Psalm ninety first chapter. Yeah, yeah we're well on the way. Uh, first John two and fifteen to go with that. Yep, we get it right. First John two fifteen. Yep. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is, but is of the world. And yeah. the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Yeah. So you know, like the brother was saying, if you're in the world, you you have foggy glasses on, mm -hmm. okay, and you're drunk. Yeah. That's what the, the, that's like having big glasses on when you are big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. What I'm saying mm -hmm. when you are. In the world, you're trying to catch up with the the Joneses, so to speak. Oh, I got to do yeah. this, uh, you know. And the scriptures clearly tell you to shut that mortal that mortal coil. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it makes perfect sense that you say that. That's a beautiful point because what those bear glasses do, what it do, it make it cause you to stagger. And the yeah. scripture says they stagger, but not with, with strong drink, not with strong drinks, but what yeah. other philosophies that is being presented yeah. unto them. The thoughts, yeah, yeah. So they all over the place. You know, that's why yeah, people, they bring out this alien thing. These people lose their mind. Like, they don't know what's going on. They don't know if they come to help. They don't know if they come and they, they already destroy. You know what I'm saying? This World War Three. They don't know if it's for the good. They don't know if it's for the bad. They just, they just, they just in the motions, man. They don't yeah. know what's really, what's being manifest right in front of them. But the elect understand clearly. The elect is going to know it. All right. Let's um, go back to the second Ezra. Yeah, I just want to, real quick, I, I, I'm going to get that. I just want to bring out Isaiah 33 and 6. Yeah. I mean, because it goes perfect with actually knowing, you know, what time we're in, and only the spirit or the this knowledge wisdom is going to be able to open up the, that spiritual goggles. Uh, Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, and that's right. plain and simple. The wisdom and knowledge is going to be stability in the times of what brothers was getting into the beginning of sorrows, Jacob's trouble. Uh, you know, uh. This martial law, all chaos, sedition among men, trusting in your Hashem and our shine, knowing what to do, is not going to get you caught up in all those plagues and, and tribulations. Yes, it's going to be a fearful thing because the scripture says in Peter, uh, the, the 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 elect shall scarcely be saved, but mm -hmm. though there's still salvation for those that trust in in in, in your Hashem and our shine, follow that path that is written in the scriptures, man. That's right. That's right. Hey, and real quick, when you go to uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, and you go to the word for strength, right, it goes into riches, treasures, or wealth. But as you go down to the, uh, uh, what is it, Jesenius, Hebrew uh, Chaldean lexicon, it says right here, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, it's, it's abundance of salvation. That's All right. right. 
So think about it, right? That that, that knowledge and wisdom is going to give you a better opportunity to reach what salvation. You know, yeah. it's it's going to help you get there because what you've been you've been once again storing up the spiritual treasures. You know, yeah. uh, scripture yeah. talks about how uh, the words of Yahweh Hashem the knowledge and wisdom is more uh, is more precious than it will be in gold. Yep. You see, right. that helps. Uh, uh, how can I say? Catapult you. You know, into what receiving salvation because you're you're you're, you're basically uh like it says being stable you're not staggering you're not all over the place you know yes, you're set, set like the scripture also said let your eye be single you're single. set on Come. what Come. it is that you're going for you know that's Come. Nice. Yeah. Come. So it's, yeah. it's a it's a it's a terrible time that we in, man yeah yeah the sooner the sooner you wake up and stop acting like you're what the scriptures tell you sleep not as do others yeah, yeah. That's Thessalonians, one. right? Yep. Um, yeah. But that's how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be on high alert right now. Okay. Right. America has the the DEFCON uh, one through five. Okay. But now that we're in the spirit, we're supposed to be waiting upon the Lord, but uh, praying without ceasing. That's how we calm our spirit. You know what I'm saying? We have to pray more than often than other people. And that's how you know that you're not asleep like other people because other mm -hmm. people they don't give no no mind to you know you how a boy you how a shy man you know they don't give all praises to them at all and these people they're going to get hurt in the end man when the time of trouble comes jacob's trouble come it's going to be showtime man it ain't going to be no more dilly dallying man it's going to get real out here in the field okay yeah. So, and, and, you know, it don't matter about the amount of weapons you have. It don't matter about how fast you can run, how good your hand speeds are. It's but your money, how popular your money ain't yeah. going to save you in that day, you know? Yeah. And demons yeah. going to be hopping on these people. They already in them, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, if you got that stability, like we were saying, man, you how about Shim Yahweh Shai is just showed them buckler, man. Mm -hmm. And its name is a strong tower, and then you must run into that. That's right. Yeah. Um, second Ezra 16. I'll, I'll read again from about verse 18. Uh, okay. the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning, oh, that's where I left off at, right? Where did I leave off at? Uh, you left off up top. Now nah, you could jump to 17. I think you was up top. Um, from what okay, I, I think I left off at 10, right? Yeah, we can start at 17, though. Okay, yeah, con, con, con. Second Ezra 16, verse 17. Uh, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? And real the quick, right? That kind of goes back to the point of what? That everyone that's <laughs> on this earth is going to be afraid. The scripture also states, what well, when the Lord, Lord, the Lord Yahweh shall return, shall he find faith on the earth? Once again, you paint that picture of what? Of, of chaos, of destruction, of heart, uh, tribulation happening across mm -hmm. the four corners. All right, even to the point where Ezra had the vision and he witnessed, he said himself, What was me? What was me? Who would deliver me in those days? It's like, damn, what what, what am I gonna do? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Who's gonna help me out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Again, it's painting and showing you uh, uh, uh you know a time of uh, evil, man. As, as evil yeah. is called our word for bad times. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um uh, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars. And the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right, and it says the beginning. As you know, we all there's war always took place on Earth. Wars yeah. always happened. There's wars in history that went on. All right, but you're talking about a major war. You're talking about World War Three. You're talking about something that's gonna be everybody's involved. All right, yeah. it's showing you that this is the time where you know World War Three. They've been speaking on it. But listen, even these other countries know that they're ready and uh, ready for World War Three. All right. Yeah. So now yeah. we're entering into that. Which you enter into something means it's going to be the beginning of it. All right. All right. They have World War One and World War Two, but this World War Three is it, as uh, what's his name? Um, damn, I think his name is uh, yeah, it was Albert Einstein that said um, that the fourth uh, World War Four is going to be fought with uh, sticks with and sticks, stones. stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I think it was Albert Einstein, I believe. Yeah, I I'll look it up. You got it, brother. Yeah, I just want to land back. I always use the analogy, even the sports uh, 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 analogy of, you know, when you see 
let's say Super Bowl, you see these two teams, they have a couple, they have like two weeks to prepare, they practice, they do scrimmages, they get ready for that, for that great uh, uh, battle, let's say, or that great uh, competition. It's, 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 that's what's happening in, in, around the world, man. These other nations and militaries, they're doing drills, they're doing joint military drills, shooting off their uh, uh, anti-defense missiles or, or just shooting out missiles. What do you think they're doing? They're scrimmaging, they're practicing, they're gearing up, they're making sure everything's up to par for the Lord's gonna have that big uh, uh, battle, the East versus the West, man. You know, and we know the outcome because Babylon, which is America, is going to be utterly destroyed by that fire due to thermonuclear missiles. So when you see Nathan Yahoo, I mean, it's like it, uh, um, King Jong Un, you know, he was he was coined Rocket Man. You know, he's shooting out these missiles. You see India and Russia doing joint military drills. What do you think they're getting prepared for, man? They're getting prepared for that that big battle, man. And it's the the World War Three, the war to end all wars. Right, right. Uh, this is, um the quote from Albert Einstein, it says, mm -hmm. I, I, World War Three will be fought, or World War Four will be fought with sticks and stones, which showing you what, this war that's about to take place, all right, so, but, but even to his, 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 his mindset, his concept, or what he came to, his conclusion is that it's going to be so worse, it's going to be so bad that it's going to, it's going to hit a reset. Yeah. It's gonna hit, a, hit a reset. Now you're going back to sticks and stones, which means it's going all the way back to the Stone Ages, man. Even before the Stone Ages, all right. Yeah. So hey, man, that's just letting you know, man. These are the times that we're into. Like you said, the beginning of wars, the beginning of sorrows. But you got to believe yeah. it's prophesied. There's gonna be no more wars, mm -hmm. you know. After this, you know, once your uh, uh removes the crowns from all these uh, 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 kings, so-called kings, and he, you know. It says the them plow uh them them swords are gonna be turned back into plowshares into pruner yeah, hooks, man. Yeah. It's gonna be no more weapons, no more wars. So that's the whole purpose of the Lord gearing all these other nations and, and as it says in Joel, into the battle of Yahweh Shapat, the most high judgment, to ultimately to uh to kill two birds with one stone, you know, to remove Esau and Babylon and remove these uh, uh military powers, man. That's it. I got something going into what you said what you think they was going to be doing and why they're testing all these uh you know these missiles and everything like that the armaments okay and uh this is jeremiah 50 and 9 it says for no i will raise and cause to come up against babylon an assembly of great nations mm. in the north country and they shall set themselves in array against her mm -hmm. from thence she shall be taken their arrow shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. So that's right. what they're doing. They they checking trajectory paths. They they send. They tweaking them the the missiles. You know. Mm -hmm. They're trying to see what what's going to fly and hit. Okay, without without missing. Just yeah. like the Lord planned it, man. Yeah. It's it's a, <laughs> yeah. yeah. In verse ten, it says, "In Chaldea shall be a spoil." All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. So that's, right. that's what custom practice is. When you practice for a basketball game, a football game, a soccer game, what are you looking for? You looking for that win at the end, so you can be like, I did that, I won. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's yep. exactly what they doing, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeremiah's prophesying the downfall of Babylon, man. This is, the, you know, the, this these arrows are them thermonuclear missiles, man. You know, many prophets described it in the ancient times the best way they knew how, man. And, you know, the, the, the ICBM missiles is, is, if it goes missing, it's called a what? A, a missing or broken arrow? Broken arrow, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when it says the arrows be shot from an archer, you know, this is actually talking about these militaries shooting them missiles out of their silos, man, and going from one end to the earth to the other, man. So this is biblical prophecy, man. Again, that, that, that strong... What was it what we read that strong uh, uh the wine or that drink that these other people are in darkness they because they have been told otherwise they're not been told the truth and this is why they're not prepared you know we're telling you that hey this is the will of the most high to destroy babylon and these other nations mainly before world war three there's going to be a lot of great death and this is why it was taking place uh right before our eyes man right. and if i, if I may mention too there's videos too going out where they were showing how what was it uh on what, was, what day was it? the fourth i believe it was the fourth when uh that alert went out 
at two o'clock, you know, it was they were saying how in, in Babylon, America, they, they, they had this uh, female alert go out, but they show in Russia, they was literally over there with the with the horn going off. They was over there practicing, putting on uh, gas masks. So the people was really getting themselves and like basically uh, preparing themselves. You that see what I'm saying? So, like, like they showing you that the mindset of the people that's here in Babylon, Sweet. hey man, yo, it, it's done for because. If you if you know that this is how your country is maneuvering and how, like it's a serious situation and you're not really taking it as serious or they just leaving you in the, in the dark, the only thing you could do is turn to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. You of Israel, the only thing you could do is turn to the Yahweh Bashim El Shai. That's the only safe way. That's the only way we can end up the safety or leverage in a situation like this that's coming. You will want the Lord's protection because we know that Babylon and the the, 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 the government and these these higher ups ain't going to protect you. They ain't even letting yeah. our people know nothing. But you have other countries, they people are already uh, they're aware. All right. They're aware and they ready. They can go underneath these um these these, these subways and their subways is uh nuclear. Yeah, mm. you see mm. what I'm saying? Like, so once again, you know, it it, 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 it got you gotta get in the right perspective, man. You gotta get in the right mindset, man. All well, right? people for people forgot about that thing that was going on over there in Finland, you know, the, the little ceremony that they had with the, the people that was everyday workers and what happened they was they was emerging themselves going inside that tunnel you know in that little uh we all seen it we all seen the video when the when the uh Baphomet head dude was screaming and then you know the they little dance led them into the subway system and everything like that it that's that's what's going on it's all equating to these people getting prepared for war even the scriptures mm -hmm. say that that they shall beat their plowshares into what? Yeah. Let's get source. it. Yeah. Joel, yeah. the third chapter. Third chapter, yeah. Because this is what it's touching on. When you see these rumors of wars, just know at the end of it, this is why we say this is the beginning and not the end, because that has yet to happen. All right? But you're going to have these rumors of wars that's coming through, and they leading up to the climax, which is the, the flight of those arrows, okay? Sorry, this is uh Joel 3 and 9. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. And I was also thinking too, right? When you had the, the kickoff of the Ukrainian the Russian Ukraine war, right? That got they got these countries active, right? In the sense where they was already getting, you know, the their weaponry and everything. But now that this Israel uh, situation just took place. Guess what? It kind of sped it up real quick. Now it's time to get these people in formation. All right? Yeah. It's time to get these countries in formation. And that's what it's good. When you read it again, it says, Proclaim ye, claim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. They're on high alert now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're on high alert. And not just only that. There's an article, which I may, I may, I may pull up. It says that, uh, they said that, quote, unquote, I don't know how true it is. But you know, there's propaganda also going out there, and they're gonna spin it. But they say Syria uh, shot missiles off at Israel as well, and you know that Syria, I believe, uh, is connected to Russia, or they have some mm -hmm. type of dealing, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, Putin's over there in Syria. Yeah, they got some type of dealings. Yeah, ties. Right. Yeah, they have ties. And then, yeah. and then, and then, and then, you know, uh, um, it just, it just, and they said America's gonna back Israel. So it's just showing you that once again, now it's starting to get pushed. Now it's starting to get yeah. a little. You thought, I right, because this Ukraine, this Ukraine Russia war was going on for how long, and it was making their moves, but it was more so focused on what the sanctions. It was kind of going around the sanctions. All right, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna sanction. We're gonna go dealing with the bricks. You know. We're yep. gonna up. But now this one is literally about to get. Like it says, it's gonna go into the sword. It's gonna get into uh, to sword activity, missiles, yeah. war, and fighting. All right, it says, uh, verse 10, it says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks. You say, I am strong. All right. Yo, bro, read that again. I think it kind of broke up. All right, Con, this is uh, Joel 3 and 10. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. It says, assemble yourselves and come all together round about. Did it cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, Yahweh? So let the heathens be waking and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. It says uh, it's Jehoshaphat, which in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shapat, which is the most high judgment. All right. It says, but there, or Yahweh's judgment, 
but there will I sit to judge all the heathens round about. Yeah, says, if I may just mention just on verse 10, the weak, the, these are these other nations that have been bullied by the, the hammer of the whole earth, man, by America. But now it's a fair uh, 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 playing field because ultimately Russia has more uh, thermonuclear missiles, ICBM missiles, than mm -hmm. every other country. Plus, uh, as the scripture, you could the scripture as uh, Ezekiel, you know, uh, he's going to be a guard unto these other nations in the east. So they're all going to now poke out their chest and have a little bit of confidence, knowing that hey, they're not going to uh, uh, withstand what Esau or what Babylon uh, sanctions or their, uh, you know, their power anymore. They feel like they they can poke their chest out now, man. That they actually have a a, a fighter's chance or a puncher's chance now to defeat the big bad bully. That's right. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down. The, the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For, for the day of the Lord, how about you not shot, is near in the valley of decision. And that multitudes right. are all them nations. Okay. From every every continent is going over there to fight in the in this war, man. That's getting ready to come forth, man. Everybody wants a piece mm -hmm. of the pie, all right? That's why this war is going to happen, the war that ends all war. But the Lord got them in the trick bag. It's only one group of people that's going to get all the pie, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. You have this. It says, Hezbollah issue new threats to Israel and the U.S. as war escalates. I'm going to just read a little bit here. The Lebanese yeah. militant group, Hezbollah, mm -hmm. issued a threat to Israel and the United States on Sunday, suggesting that it could get further involved in support of Hamas as the war escalates, Hamas, a militant uh, a Palestinian group, which the U.S. Uh, uh, designates as a terrorist. All right. So there you go. You have it where all right, uh, Hezbollah, a, a Lebanese militant group, is, is even saying that they're going to they're going to get involved. All yep. right. Let's go into this. There's plenty more. Um, U.S. sending aircraft, aircraft carrier strikes. Uh, strike group to the Eastern Mediterranean uh, to support Israel. All right, since Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said Sunday he has ordered the Ford carrier strike group to sail to the Eastern Mediterranean to be ready to assist Israel after attack by Hamas has left more than 1,000 dead on both sides uh, among. All right, so mm -hmm. as you see, America's getting involved. We mentioned, earlier, we mentioned about these earthquakes. Hey, real quick, can I, can I just bring out this real quick? Got it, brother. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and uh, 1, and then I'll drop down to verse 8, just get straight to the point. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die and a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. No, I'm just going to read it through. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, mm -hmm. and a time to love and a time of hate, of to hate, a time to of war and a time of peace. So this is the season that we're in that it's a time of war and of hate, evil, bad times, man. And yeah. this is why the, I think the brother Tazayaf are quoted in, in uh, Thessal uh, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, man. You know, uh, you don't want to be in darkness. You got to understand the times and season that we're in, man. His brothers is running, reading down headlines. There's nothing about <laughs> these leaders doing peace treaties or coming together to build uh, another country. They're talking about threats and war and, and death, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, hey, the verse three says, what? A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. You got to yeah. remember, too, the Lord said, what? In uh, Malachi 1 and 4, it says, uh, uh, whereas either, I think they said, let me grab it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he'll bring it down. Yeah. This is their time. That's right. You know, this is that time. We're entering into that time for the Lord to uh, uh, bring them down. Um, yeah, the time we, it's a lot, if I just real quick, mm -hmm. the only way we're going to see peace on earth, war, if war must take place. That's that balance of the Heavenly Father, man. You this, know? Like they say, this too shall pass. And the past. 
uh, Malachi 1 and 4, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places, which they had their time to do so. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the reason why they're at the top of their face right now. Like the scripture says, uh, the, the, the is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. It took, it had to, it had to come forth for them to be in that position. All right. Just so the Lord can do what? Right. It says, thus if the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down to throw them down. All right. To bring them to naught. They shall call them the border, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And you got to remember, Amalekites too, they come from the line of Esau. Mm -hmm. All right. And guess what? They're dwelling in the Holy Land. They're dwelling in our land. All right. You see? And they're not following the ways uh, 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 of w which was prescribed. They're calling themselves the, 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 the children of Israel. All right. Their, 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 their ways is, uh, is, is against how the Most High has set it up, man. So once again, yeah, the Lord, he had, he had, them, man. he, the scripture says that what the Lord will have indignation or he would have war with Amalek from generation to generation. All right. So it only makes sense why the Lord will have this happen. All right. And, and make them be the, uh, the forefront. All right. That's right. Yeah. They're polluting the Holy Land, you know, mm -hmm. all type of abominations. So, hey, best believe the Lord has a controversy with, with, with even, even Israel, man. You know, but mainly America, but they ain't hey, Babylon and Israel or America and Israel goes hand in hand. Right? Yeah. The Lord is serious. Yeah, it says uh, Israel drafts as war escalates. All right, so I'm just reading off. There go another another um, prophecy, right? Because it says that pestilence is right. All yeah. right, just it says bed bugs invasion happening in London. You know, so that can cause pestilence. All right, it's just showing you, man. It, it, this is this is this is ultimately what's coming. It plagues, right. yeah, plagues yeah. upon the earth, man. That's right. Um, what's it? Another one. Um, right here, Israeli official calls for doomsday nuclear missile option. Mm. Right. And you know, the NASA, they they recently said they were like ten seconds or thirty seconds closer to the doomsday. I think it was the NASA yeah. scientists, I believe. Hey man, yeah. everything. The doomsday clock, yeah. The doomsday yeah, doomsday clock, clock. yeah, man. All avenues and paths lead to the scriptures, man. Ultimately, to the will of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, man. Well, right. it's that it's Project Looking Glass, all right. Project Looking Glass was, you know, they asked the AI what what is the foreseeable future, and the AI kept on coming up with the same answer. And for years and years, they've been trying to get over this answer, like how do we stop this from happening? And we know it from the scriptures that the the final destination of this place is it's going to be the breakdown of the rulership of esau edom and then project looking glass was looking into the future saying that it's only going to be the rule of one group of people and they didn't like that answer so they keep on trying to search it out but it's not going to change uh job tells you that this the uh his steps should be straight yeah it's yep. like going up a flight of stairs and then you get to the top floor and it's just plateau. That's it. You ain't going no higher. Than that. That's it. You ain't going yeah, no higher than this. Yeah, because yeah. he said he had, uh, the Lord has set up bounds that he cannot. Bounds, yeah. That's, that's it. That's it. Um, and we read it in Second Ezra 16, you know, all those questions that the Lord had as we speak. And that's the sentiment of these Edomites of people in high places, man. They they want to upset or change or try to, you know, throw a monkey wrench in the prophecy, but they can't, man. The, that fire is going to be sent. Or these plagues are going to be sent. Yeah. Esau can't can't escape it. Oh, these other nations, the wicked, you know. It's right. going to take place. I got something for you real quick. Psalms 2. And it reads, um, yeah, yeah. Want, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. So it also goes into what? Upsetting prophecy. Yeah. All right. That's why it says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? What is the vain thing? Vain goes into being, it being nothing or coming. Or worthless. Worthless. You see, yeah. what is that? Just like how Tazios mentioned uh, about the uh, Project Looking Glass, I believe that's what it is. Right? Yeah. If they believe in signs or they believe in ones and zeros, right? Or zeros and ones, and it comes to that same conclusion, right? What the scripture said that it, uh, it says that um, it cannot be against the truth or for the truth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So even that is providing proof that what what the Lord 
has established and set out on the earth to happen, it's going to happen. You know, but once again, that vain thought is, damn, we got to we gotta throw another option in there to see if this number can change or whatever this result is. You know what I'm saying? That's why they'll go and say, oh, let's have peace treaties and have these talks of peace to see if this can change and shift the gear of what prophecy. No, you know, even when they try to when they try to do anything that uh, br- coming together, right? Yeah. Guess what? The Lord does something to make yep. it back to on course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, this <laughs> is his chest. This is his chessboard, man. He's yeah. moving the pieces, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? They try, to, yeah. they try to derail. They try to derail the train, and somehow the miracle happened with the train jumped back on the track. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got that scripture for you that you quoted real quick. Uh, Second yeah. Corinthians thirteen and eight. Second Corinthians thirteen and eight. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That's right. Nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Why? Because the truth will prevail. No yeah. matter how you put it, how you cut it and slice it, man. The truth will prevail. They said the scriptures. Scriptures mentioned plenty of times. It says the words of Yahweh you know, Shah is faithful and true. Faithful the words will not uh, 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 come back void. You know, yep. you see these it's things. It's impossible for the Most High to to lie. Yep. Um, you know yep. That it says. Um. Um. What's the other scripture? Real quick. It says. Uh. That shall stand. Give me one second. Yep. The man of his word. It says, "Go forth when he sent it." Uh. Was that as well? Mm-hmm. Uh, Right here, Proverbs 19 and 21, it says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once again, that vain <laughs> thought that these damn devils <laughs> have, the vain thought that people or man has, guess what? The Lord said what? The counsel, his counsel is going to stand. That's why the angels above, what it says, uh, uh, what's that, Proverbs 21? Proverbs 21. Oh, yeah, yeah, prudent man. Nah, no, 21 and 1, it says, The king's oh. heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord, as the rivers of water, he turneth it with us wherever he will. Look at that. The Lord has the minds of these kings, all right, in his hand. All right. He got the angels, he got the angels literally putting it in their mindset to do these things. And they don't even they don't even realize it. All right. That's how you know that's, that's power, that's power on another level, man. That's uh, right. That, uh, uh Job the 33rd chapter, 15 verse, I believe, said he sent the instruction. When they sleep and they slumbering on the bed, yeah. you know they wake up and thinking that they're gonna do something. But guess what, man? What they're gonna do is exactly what the Lord had intended them to do. That's yeah. right. Hey, I got so, a no autonomous uh, thoughts going on around here. Every yeah. thought. I mean, he, he knows the thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Will of the Most High. That's it. Mm-hmm. Con. I got a just to back up that point in uh, Habakkuk two. I'll get straight to the point. Uh, verse 2 and 3, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. So it surely will come, man. Best believe these words that the Lord has put into his servants, the prophet's mouth, because we're speaking his words, they're going to come into fruition and it's going to take place, man. Whether, you know, just like Jonah, he prophesied against uh, uh, Nineveh, whether it was 150 or plus years, guess what? He spoke it to existence because it still happened, you know, Uh, or or, or Noah, you know, and just like, uh, again, we're here prophesying the downfall of Esau, Edom, Babylon, and it's going to take place. We don't know the time or hour, but the Lord have left these breadcrumbs, these clues, these signs and wonders, and we are confidently can say that we are at these last days, man. The end is 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 surely coming, man. It's surely we're in the times of the end, man. All right. Uh, I just want to show real, like, real quick. It's a South Korea place on alert. The possible North Korea attack following Israel Hamas conflict. So you have another war brewing up in the making, right? Developing rockets have now been fired into Israel from Syria. All mm. right. Biden confirms 14 Americans have been killed and more among Hamas hostage. Oh, that's plain C. Hey, man, they're going to play on the minds of the military or the U.S. Oh, now let's go. Let's get some retribution. You know what I'm saying? Because right, yeah. once Americans is killed, oh, now. You know, they want to feel like we have to join it. Hey, man, it's, it's just that whole sentiment, not, the time of war. It's funny because it's not it's not the same world anymore, right? Yeah. The Americans, these Americans ain't going to fight, man. You know, they're not going to fight. This is what the, the big drawback 
on their plan is they thinking that it's the same type of place that it was. Magic wand, right? Yeah, yeah. They think they can wave that. Now the people are more docile than ever here in Babylon the Great. The men are more feminine than ever. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have that that boost of morale because nobody in this nation is doing good. Nobody. Mm-hmm. You know? Real quick, um, this is right here. This is the definition of a war, world war. It says a war involving many large nations in all different parts of the world. The name is commonly given to the wars of 1914 uh, to 18 and 1939 to 45, which is World War One and World War Two. Although only the second of these was truly global. All right, Once again, many large nations taking part of a war. All right. Uh, yeah, multiple nations. Yeah, that was roughly 80 plus years ago, man, since the World War II, man. So it was, yeah. it, we're not far removed, man. And I got a p- quick precept just to back that up. But Revelations 11 and 14, the second war was passed and behold, the third war cometh quickly. I think that, that word behold says look, right? Pay attention to look, That's you right. know? Behold, man, the third war cometh quickly, man. So this is prophesied in the scriptures and revelations, the end, you know? Right, Revelation 11 and 14. It's a lot, brother. Oh, Revelation 11 and 14. I read it again. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Ah, because woe represents what? Destruction. Woe wo yeah. means destruction. And it says that it's coming quickly. So that's a massive, all right? That's destruction on a, on a large scale. Like, you know what I'm saying? Once again, on a world war level, a world war level, all right? And hey, man, this has to take place, man. Uh, we're not we're not shying away from it. We understand that dark times. We understand that hard, uh, scary times is approaching fast. All right. And it's, that, it's, you know, preparation. It's, it's, com- it's conflicts going on in 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 Africa. Mm-hmm. Burkina Faso still. Uh, uh, then Taiwan in in the South Asian Sea. America's spread thin, man. America's all over the place, man. They they don't have a standing military, but yet they want to be far in there. They can't do it all, man. And that's how yeah. the Lord got them. Got them now. Right yeah. where he wants. And, and these leaders have picked up on that. They privy to that. They say, okay, this guy want to be the big bad police of the world. Scriptures say that's what he want to be. All right, yeah. let's give it to him. Let's like, let him police everything. And that's what's happening. He want to be everywhere the action is to take whatever he can take. Even the people down there in Haiti, they don't even want, they don't even want him down there no more. Okay, mm-hmm. they rejecting mm-hmm. the UN from coming in there. So it, this the jig is up, man. Esau, mm-hmm. he, he can't hide himself anymore. He's just got to come to the forefront and get that get the whooping that he deserves, man. That's right. Hey, man, that one is for you Israelites, man. We don't have a dog in this fight, man. We got to yeah. trust in Yahweh Bashim al We don't have a military. You know, the American military don't represent us. You know, they, they're going to use us as front line to be their, you know, their their pawns, man. That's why we tell you, hey, seek Yahweh Bashim al Don't trust in these leaders. Mm-hmm. You know, be circumspect, pray, and seek the Lord 10 times more, man, because this is who the Lord who the world calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai is going to come and deliver the elect of Israel. You got to fear him, trust him, and, and pray to him, man. You know? That's right. That's it. Any y'all hey. got anything else to bring up? That's about it, bro. That's That's it. It. You can close up, tell y'all. All right. So there you have it. You know, this is uh, Jim S. Boston Bar. You know, we just sounding the alarm, blowing the trumpet on the board work you know what i'm saying and warning the people to what's to come if you ain't know now you should know and investigate okay because the men of the lord we're, we're just here to to bring it to light and when we're doing so it's it's on you to wake yourself all the way up out of sleep we just nudging you okay but it's on you to wake yourself up get on your feet and be active man move around you know no things of the scriptures that's going to save you in the end, man. And repentance is the number one thing. That's the first thing that you should hold on to so you can come out of the world and be washed with the word of the Heavenly Father through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay. So with that, 
We want to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. All right. Hopefully, waking up the hopeful elect. All right. So, with that, we want to say a ball, a ball, a ball, and call Yasharala, and Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.